Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Judy Pence. I'm the Executive Director of Maryland Normal, which is the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. The testimony you hear from me today will be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to stand here in support of all of these bills, 517, with um, uh, amendments to it. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that we need to understand the past before we legislate in the future. First of all, marijuana was first made illegal in 1937. Why? Because the people of the South were very against the Mexican immigrants that were coming over our border and working the fields. And also the black jazz musicians and blues music musicians of um, New Orleans. Now, the white people, unfortunately, did not like this, so they gave a very negative view of this for, for people, and they encouraged their legislators to suppress those peoples, and marijuana legally, making it illegal was a way to do that. It was also made illegal not because of it was bad to get high, but because of the hemp industry and the paper industry and William Randolph Hearst. So there were political motivations and racial motivations as opposed to the addiction issues that we have today. And the fact that um, if they could use scare tactics, much like today's government, government does, where we all live in fear and we're all really scared of marijuana and how bad it is, that's how they got those legislators to vote against it. The second part that I wanted to say was that um, th there was an experiment. I, I read a book called Marijuana is Safer Than Alcohol. I can tell you the authors later. But there was an experiment in a Ford. Uh, the Ford was done by Norman Stamper, who was the Seattle police chief. And he wrote the forward, and he talked about an experiment that was done in Portugal where they had a huge hockey match where they allowed people to... I mean, a hockey match, I'm sorry about that, soccer match. It was England and France. And the fact that usually those result in a lot of violence because there's a lot of drinking going on. However, they said, today we're going to let people smoke marijuana. There was not one fight at that soccer match. There was not anything, um, I'm sorry about that, um, but... There was no violence and no arrest until they went to the bars that night. <laughs> Uh, Wayne Gordon. Hi, uh, thank you members of the committee. My name is Wade Gordon. I'm from Allegheny County, uh, Maryland. I'm a uh, co-chairman of Western Maryland Normal, which uh, includes Garrett County, Allegheny County, and uh, Washington County. I believe that marijuana should be uh, taxed and regulated just like cigarettes and alcohol. The first drug that I ever had was nicotine. The second drug that I had was uh, alcohol. And the third drug I had was an antipsychotic that um, someone who five, ten years later murdered his aunt gave to me when I was a kid up at the mall. Uh, but something that that hasn't ever struck me as as dangerous as uh, an antipsychotic or an opioid which I had also tried before I tried marijuana uh, I don't see why a plant which we sell at Lowe's plants that could kill your dog plant that could uh, kill your kid cactuses that could poke out your eyeballs. I don't see how a plant that's really similar to tomatoes can can be considered more dangerous than shelves full of sharp pointy objects with children running around them. And I, I, I guess that's it. In conclusion, I support uh, any, any legislation that lessens the restrictions on a medical uh, marijuana. Thank you very much for your testimony. Thank you. Uh, Paul Curdahy. Curdahy. Hi, thank you. Uh, Paul Curdahy. I'm from, I'm also from Western Maryland, and we started normal, Wayne and I. I broke my neck in 1991. I broke C2 and C5. I was in great amount of pains, 
It's amazing I walk. I was offered all the oxycodones I could eat. I didn't want to become an addict. I didn't want a, ju a doctor making me a junkie. Now that I'm kind of retired and I don't have to go through your analysis, when the weather's crappy and my neck hurts and I can't sleep, I'll get up and smoke a little joint. Then I sleep great. I'm a hundred times better than I used to be. I don't wake up hungover. And I just think that if $78 million is being spent in Colorado on weed to the stores, then why not Maryland do it? If it's not going to the dealer, it will be going to the state. We're much better off having it go to the state where it's controlled and we know what we're getting. And that's about all I have to say. Any questions? I think we got it. Thank you. Thank you.